Hello everyone, welcome to my series on VBScript programming and today's topic is uh, recursion in VBScript and we are going to basically use the concept to browse through these folders, the corresponding subfolders and the files and we are going to uh, list out the list of folders, subfolders and file into a text file as an output. So we are going to achieve that using the concept of recursion. So let me just write that out over here. For those of you who are not uh, familiar with recursion, recursion is the concept where a particular function calls itself and creates layers of the same function with different parameters. So if I have to give a very quick example, what I would say is, let's say we have a scenario where we need to add numbers in a sequence, right? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, let's say all the way to 10. Now how do we do that? So let's say we create a small function. Now don't go by the logic here, I'm just showing this to explain to you the syntax might not be correct. So let's say we create a function saying uh, add 10 numbers and we pass the parameter as n. Now inside that we can say that uh, return the output n plus add 10 numbers n minus 1 and we say end the function here. So what are we doing here? We're calling the same function again inside that function, but with a decremented parameter. So if we call this function, initial function with the value 10, the next time the function, the function runs and it says return the value n plus, which means 10 plus, the same number comes again and the function is again called with the value 9. Again, when 9 goes in the function, the same function is called again with the value 8 and so on till the value 1 comes and let's say we put a condition over here saying that if n is equal to 1 then just return n don't call the function again else return the output n plus n minus 1 so until n reaches 1 we keep on returning n plus the decremented value of 1 so this basically creates layers of the function so this is one layer on top of that there is one more layer created on top of that there is one more layer created and each time the layer is created it's for a decremented value finally when n, n one comes it returns the value and it keeps coming back to the previous layer and the numbers start get adding up all the way to 10 so this is how recursion works now let me try to use the concept of recursion in this use case. So what do we have here? What I have done for you is I have created four parent folders, P1, P2, P3, P4. Each parent folder has a subfolder, one or many subfolders. So P1 has one subfolder S1, P2 has two subfolders S1 and S2. Similarly, P3 has three subfolders and P4 has four subfolders. Now, each subfolder has a text file. So P1 S1 has p1s1.txt. So similarly, p2s1 has p2s1.txt and p2s2 has p2s2.txt and similarly we have text files in all subfolders. What we are going to do now is we are going to browse through all the folders and subfolders and we are going to list out the complete path of each text file under each uh, the tree of folders and subfolders and we are going to list out those uh, file paths in a text file. So let's say how, let's see how to do that. We start by creating a file system variable. Then we start by creating a folder object. We say which FSO this file system variable dot get folder and we get our parent folder location where the execution needs to start. So this is our parent folder. Okay, this is where the execution actually starts. Now, let's say for each let's say for each subfolder in obj folder dot subfolders. So we start a for loop and we say for each subfolder in obj folder or subfolders we perform the below action so what are the actions what we need to do here is <clears throat> first we need to define a function on top of this get subfolders and we pass folder name 
that function ends right here. Now, inside this function, we say for each subfolder in this folder name dot subfolders, we call the same function again and say get subfolders and pass the subfolder. So basically, the folder name that we started with, so let's say we call the function here and say get subfolders with obj folder. So our parent folder is this. We start the function with this folder. It enters the function and looks for every subfolder inside the parent folder and then calls the same function with that list of subfolders. And it will keep doing that until there are no more subfolders. So when there are no more subfolders, what it will do is it will come for files for each file in folder name dot files. Next. Okay. Here we write the code for writing file path to output file. Okay. So we'll do this later on. As of now, let's just keep a message box just to see if our code is in the right direction. So let's just put file uh, is it file dot name? I think. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so I'll just blindly run this. Uh, there might be some errors. Okay, so we got the first file, then second file, second parent folder, first subfolder file, second parent folder, second subfolder, subfolder file. Similarly, we have p3s1, p3s2, p3s3, p4s1, p4s2, p4s3, p4s4, and then we have our own vbs file because the same folder is also getting searched. So that's how all the file names are coming up. So it's a very simple function. It's a very simple concept, actually, once you uh, get the uh, gist of it. We have a base function, which takes a uh, root, root parameter. And then that function keeps calling itself and goes deeper and deeper for each child of the parameter. And once there are no more child left, it comes to the file level. So here we're going for subfolders. Once there are no subfolders left, it comes to the file level. That's how it works. Okay. So let, I think this is fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just write the code for, let me just delete these two lines. We don't need this. Okay. So here we are going to write the code for uh, the complete path of the file that should come out in a uh, output file, output text file. So let me just create the text file over here somewhere. OBJFSO dot create text file. And let me just give the name out dot text. Okay. And okay, let me we need a file object, we need a stream object to write to that file. Let's do that. Set obj file equal to obj fso dot get file. So the same file, we're creating a file out, object out of that so that we can perform read write operations. Then we create a text str equal to obj file dot open as text stream for reading. Sorry, this is for writing, so two. Okay, so in this line, what we do is obj txt str dot write line and we say file dot name. Let's save this and run the code. Let's see if it works fine. Okay, so I think it's completed. Let me just bring it out in Notepad plus plus. And we see that all the files have come. These are the target files that reside in either the parent folder or any subfolders. Now we can exclude these files very easily. So what we can say that if file dot name or maybe we can just say that if instr file dot name vbs equal to zero and instr file dot name out dot txt 
equal to 0 then. So basically we are saying that this file name should not contain VBS. INSTR searches a smaller string inside a larger string. So when it searches for VBS in the file name, it should get 0. If it searches for out.txt in the file name, it should get 0. If both these conditions are satisfied, only then you write. And we put an end if over here. Let's save this and see if it works fine. And we see that our files are now the files that we need. Our BBS files and output files are now not part of this output, which is good. Now, okay, so let me just close this, come back to our script. So this is our script. Now what we need to do, we need to add the path. So this right line that we are doing, this as of now we are just writing the name. Let me just try to write the path as well. So file dot path. I hope this works. Let me just put a space to identify the two values separately and run this. I might have to change this afterwards. So okay. Okay, so this is why I did that. So you see that file.path already contains the name, so I don't have to put the name separately. I'll just remove the name from here. Done. So that's our code. So what you've seen here is using the concept of recursion, very easily we could uh, loop through all these folders and the subfolders inside that and go till the target file name and then pull out the file names and produce them in an output path. Just try this out. Uh, with your uh, different different use cases and let me know if you face any challenges uh, just drop a comment and i'll be happy to post a video for you thank you so much